I need to get better at fading that. We're going to fade it next time. We're going to fade it next time. It's going to be a lot better. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. Next time, maybe. Um, Bullet123 Bullet, just resubscribed for 20 months. Appreciate it. Hopefully you've been doing well. Uh, so I think we're going to do 100%. I know, it's like, it's not great. Would you say it was from a website? It is Fire Temple Delay Llama. If you search YouTube. The transition's more theater-like, though, which matches the game. I just It needs to fade the music out better. And I could probably find a way to do that. Or at the very least, I could probably do it manually. If I can't do it the other way. That's a lot of monsters to hunt. You want to see where we are right now? Throw this up. So, we already did Freedom Unite. And then here we are right now on Monster Hunter Portable 3rd. We're working on Alatran today. We've cleared everything else. Uh, Crimson Kuropeko, Gold Rathian, and Silver Rathalos, and technically Alatran are all optional. Because we're going to be doing Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, and it's per generation. But this Alatreon is special. Like, the fight is different. It, it, it definitely hits different. But um, it's definitely different enough from 3 Ultimate Alatreon that I think we're going to do it. It makes sense to me to do it. Um, it's going to be hard because I don't want to unlock real Alatreon, which means we have to do Event Alatreon. Event Alatreon hits harder, and he's got, like... 50% more health or something like that. Um, but whatever. Is it harder? I think technically it might be easier. The three ultimate Alatra uh, three ultimate um, Alatreon. I think you have to break the horns before you can flash it. Although you dig it, you get a binder for free. So if you could break the horns, he might be easier. But before you break the horns, the three ultimate one is harder. And obviously not being able to flash it means you, you lose some attack opportunities. No Dragon Blight. Yes, that's true. There's no Dragon Blight in Portable 3rd. It just does not exist. As to the question of if I'm getting buffer or not, I, I exercise uh, consistently. I didn't exercise for almost a week. I got a really bad cold starting on Saturday, so I haven't I didn't work out since Saturday. I was just feeling really crappy. But I'm feeling good now. You know, guns pumped up, ready to go. So trying to take good care of myself. Like I said, my, my main motivation is I don't want to get in good shape. For me, it's more about not becoming an orb. It's more about not getting into bad shape. Which you can't like, there's there's no easy stasis, right? You're either working out and trying to get in better shape or you're doing nothing and technically getting in worse shape. My favorite Dark Souls category streamer. Yeah. We were streaming in Dark Souls last night. We might stream in Dark Souls again today. Thank you, Sorara. And for spite? Oh, yes. To spite my doctor. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Okay. No, there is, that is true. So when I went to my checkup, my annual checkup, uh, it was around like January or February of last year. Uh, I had been working out like I, I was doing fine. You know, I was lifting weights. Uh, I would walk like at least a mile a day. And it wasn't like a tiny mile. Like it was a mile, you know, up a hill, like up a steep hill. Like if you're walking up an incline... You know, that's more than just the, the distance. And, like, it was at least a mile. Sometimes it was a mile and a half. Sometimes it was two miles. Well, I say this to my doctor, and you know what she says? She says, that's not enough. You're not walking enough. It's not like I had a pedometer and I only moved a mile a day. I move around my house. I do things. I go outside sometimes. She said, why not two miles? So I'm going to show her, man. You know, you need to have a reason why. Yeah, I think to yourself every single day, what 
your reason why is. And spite is a very, very powerful motivator. Have I ever soloed Alatrain in 3 Ultimate? I did level appropriate village Alatrain around this time last year, and it was amazing. How much steps do I do each day? I don't carry a pedometer on me, and um, I can't really show it, I guess. I'm wearing man tights, which don't have pockets, so like I don't carry my phone in my pocket. Did you tell her to watch your stream? So she knows I'm a full-time streamer. You meant G-Rank Alatreon. Well, so the Alatreon in the village hits as hard as G-Rank Alatreon, but it has closer to village life. So with high-rank gear, it may as well have been harder than G-Rank Alatreon. So she knows I'm a full-time streamer. Her son apparently is interested in like game design or uh, streaming or something himself. I mean, he's probably like most other guys, you know, in their, their 18, uh, teens or 20s. I, I don't know how old he is. I've never met him. I told her if he ever has any questions, he can feel free uh, to reach out to me. I mean, I'm, I'm an open, like, I, I really don't mind. You know, if you got questions, you want to know what it's like, you know, you want advice. Anything like that, it's fine. It's slip into my DMs, you know. I'll, I'll, I don't mind talking to people about it. I'm, are going to see my famous sleep bomb strats in 3U or portable 3rd? So, I've been running bomb cats, which don't hit enough with their sleep weapons to cause the monster to sleep. 3 ultimate, maybe I could set the shakalakas to sleep and they might get one off. Maybe. I don't even know if it would be worth it. Uh, but for 3 ultimate, we're going to be using switch axe. I don't even know how good the sleep switch axes are in three ultimate. I guess I could check out. Is there, I mean, there must be one, even if it's awakened, right? Let's see here. Uh, final sleep. So it is a 210 raw switch axe with 22 sleep on it. That's pretty weak sauce. That's not very good. It's probably not going to use that. Is this Monster Hunter game? Yes, this is Monster Hunter game. Every time I use Switch Axe, it's time to sleep. I think Switch Axe is an okay weapon. Just like... I feel like I learned a lot forcing myself to play through all monsters in Portable 3rd with Dual Blades. I feel like I'm going to learn just as much doing all switch acts, all monsters in three ultimate. I, I think it's going to be pretty good. Dark Souls streamer streams monster hunter. I know it's a, it's a, it's a transfer. It's different, but I think it's going to be okay. Are we done with portable third? We've cleared everything we needed to. Now we are clearing some things that are technically optional. Gator, good morning. So the, the goal is today, I would at least like to kill Alatreon. Uh, and then we're going to uh, play this game, Shadow Tower Abyss. We got like a good ways into the game yesterday. We're going to get a little bit more progress, hopefully today. Switch X and Greatsword in 3U. I think it's going to be Switch X only. We will be doing Greatsword in 4 Ultimate. I don't know what the best greatsword is in 4 Ultimate. There's probably a good number of choices. What if I don't beat Eladreon? I never thought about that. I never, I've never once considered if I could not beat something. Is that, that's a, that's a loser mentality, Zravius. Huh? You gonna go into a fight saying, oh, I can't do this? No way. I'm in it to win it, man. I'm in it to win it, buddy. Matikin, hello. Uh, Sretcher's Greatsword is very good, yeah. What if the challenge starts here, Doubter? <sighs> Alright. All I'm gonna say is literally first time attempt on White Fatalis. That was a clear. Obviously, it took a number of attempts, but no triple carts. That's a clear on Crimson Fatalis. All right, if I can do that, anyone can. White Fatalis was low rank. Okay. 
Zoravius may as well be like the crazy guy that stinks of pee screaming about aliens outside the subway station. Um, I don't think I want to do Insect Glaive in for you. It's just too powerful. Blank Slate, hello. Yeah, so, I mean, we'll probably do Seregios. I mean, Seregios is a fairly easy monster that Greatsword is fairly good against. Do Switch Action for you. This is in Shadow Tower Abyss. We are going to do it after we do... Uh, Alatreon. Will Lance show up at all? Don't think so. And that's that's literally like... I, I blame chat. <laughs> Lance boring. Lance no good. Sorry. I'd love to use it. But I don't think it's going to happen. All right. Well, it's time to get our... Our sack together. Uh, we might actually have to do like a... Small, like, gathering quest or, or something. Clear a, a baby. No, probably no Charge Blade. I mean, you never know. Maybe we'll do Charge Blade and Rise. I could see that. I could see a Rise Charge Blade run. I should do a tiny bit of World Lance. Uh, maybe, like, low rank World. Low, low, uh, Lance through Xeno. Only takes a day. Did I beat Abyss? No, but we did... Um, we, we're going to get right into it when we start Abyss. Which monster hunter is this? Monster Hunter Portable 3rd. Uh, what is the weapon in 4? Uh, we just talked about it. It's great sword. <laughs> Lobby Dubs, hello. I love you. I'm looking mighty fluffy today. I will take that as a massive compliment. I, I aim to be the fluffiest streamer on Twitch. Oh, so good. Oh, such a champion. All the way up there. Those are the good bugs up top. What weapon in GU? Uh, what, what's MHGU? I didn't... Is that a... Is that a video game? Did people play that? It doesn't... doesn't sound like any game I've ever heard of. I had to be fluffier if I did... Uh, I should probably just, like, order pickaxes, right? Good morning, Fluff Daddy. <laughs> you know what that means. Deviants are monsters, too? I'll fight the Deviant. I mean, that's the whole point. Like, if I was going to exclude the Deviants, I, like, wouldn't even play GU. Honestly, it's like, it's not worth it, right? Yeah, I think we're going to do one Royal Lou drop. I don't think I have enough dash juices. Sregios first appeared in Gen or 4? Sregios was the flagship for Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. G is a spooky stream worthy game. I mean, it's a, I mean, it's honestly, it's fine. It's just not for me, that's all. Jazz Juice IV Drip? I mean, you know, if there was ever a monster that deserved it, it's probably Alatran. Birthday money came in, here I go. I don't want to take your birthday money. <laughs> you keep, get yourself something special. Uh, progress appears to be made steadily towards Maldi plushies, plushies, by the way, guys, so... Maybe get excited for that. Maybe. If I had if I had uh, Maldi plushies to buy, I would I would I would push you to buy a Maldi plushie. Should try Guild Longsword to Sakura Slash plus Grit Juncture for GU. Sounds fun. Honestly, sounds great. I mean, we did a good amount of Longsword in Freedom Unite, but I mean, it's so different by the time you get to GU. I guess that's fair. You know, it'll, it'll probably be a couple months before they're ready, but, like, steadily moving towards a, the, the Maldi, uh, event horizon. Can we have two sizes of Maldi? I think it's just gonna be one. 
Because I think they gotta make like one or two hundred of them before they could even like really print them. You want a Maldi pillow. I don't know how big he'd be. I mean, I'm gonna, like I said, I gotta, I gotta talk to them. We gotta work it out. We gotta go through the design. You want a pocket Maldi. <laughs> a little Maldi that never leaves your side. Make a big molly? Okay, I know. I gotta figure it out. Any the size is gonna increase the price. And I'm not I'm not looking to get rich off of Maldi, okay? Maldi would not want that. I just want I you know, people ask for it. And, you know, it's a way to support the stream. So I'm not I'm not looking to fleece you guys being like, one thousand dollar Maldi limited edition. Get your Maldi now before he's gone forever. Not. Which monster is this one? Monster Hunter Portable 3rd. Which isn't even close to the third Monster Hunter game released, but that's just how they did the, uh, the Maldi stuff. Then the Maldi stuff. <laughs> the, the, the generation. Is this a coincidence? Why does my character look like Naruto? My favorite character is uh, the guy with orange hair from Bleach. Close as I can get to. Imagine spending even like a hundred dollars on NFTs when you could just be putting the money into like the legalized, regulated uh, gambling speculation market that is the American Stock Exchange. <laughs> it's so strange. This is your childhood? It's a very good game. Absolutely one of the best. Do this, but with Maldi. Oh, that? The little Maldi peeking out of the t-shirt? I like the idea of plushie. I don't, I don't necessarily like the idea of just having Maldi screen printed onto random objects. I feel like that diminishes it a little bit. I mean, at least we invest in the American stock market or any other market for that matter. You're investing into a horrible beast responsible for untold amounts of suffering, but at least they aren't just like unilaterally sucking up energy and computer resources for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> My birthday is giving a good feeling to you this month. Well, thank you, Lovey Dubs. That's very nice of you. Can the plushy Maldi come with a pulsing mic? I don't think so. Like I said, the, the goal... I'm going to talk to the people, the designers, uh, hopefully next week. Why $100 when you gave me... So you can pay the bills and have your undying gratitude on the end of your days? $100 to, like, own a, like, somebody's digital identity almost seems, like, valuable. It almost seems like a good investment. Can we get an SD Shep plush? I mean, we're working on it, dude. I mean, I was just doing this quest because I need to cycle in more honey, and I'd like to get some more dash juice. I want to play this game on your PSP, but I can't find the battery of the PSP. Uh, good reminder, if anyone out there owns a PSP, you should probably check your PSP now. Uh, right around now is the time where the batteries are experiencing, like, um, I don't want to use the word decay, but they're expiring, and you'll find some of them are bulging, and so they might start leaking corrosive goop into your PSP, so... Just take it out. If it's in there, if it's fine. Keep it handy. Oh, did we get it? We didn't get a single dash juice out of that. Noxella owns me for a day every month for less than $100. Patreon, literally not worth it. <laughs> literally the greatest scam ever invented. 
Your PSP was stolen? I am very sorry to hear that. That sucks. That's that's actually genuinely awful. Um, I, you hate to hear it. I honor the Patreon every month. Oh my god. It's not my fault Noxella requests meme things that get done last minute because they're meme things. The Flaming Hot Feast is saved, by the way. It got caught up in the all credits challenge. Literally frame perfect timing. Imagine having somebody over and explaining the Maldi plush on your bed. Um, I mean, they might like it. They'd be like, oh, wow, he's so cute. <laughs> What's his name? Hi. We are going to buy some mega pickaxes. So my cats have something to mine with. Uh, it should be a full-fledged soft toy thing. I don't know. I gotta I gotta talk to the designers. Hopefully I'll be talking to them next week. I think it's gonna be international shipping. Uh, I'm pretty sure. This is my best friend Moldy. I love him. And he loves you. I gotta get the details. I gotta find out what, what it's gonna cost to make. I want to make sure it's being sold at a affordable price point. You know, because it's not going to be like a huge run. There'll probably be like 100 or 200 of them made. You start squeezing him like I sque squeeze Hinata. body pillows too like the covers sure why not <laughs> what am I okay I'm fine <laughs> what I'm just squeezing my Hinata <laughs> well you don't you don't do that? I need more. Okay, first of all, we need to switch to ice. I mean, the Maldi body pillow, <laughs> just, I mean, I don't even know what you would need to do. You would need to design a cover for a body pillow. He's not Ichigo. Name's Hinata. It's my favorite volleyball boy. That should be enough, right? So much work. <laughs> this goddamn fight is so much work. Hi. It's got a light. Alright. That, that. I'd like one more Mega Nutrient. Oh, I have one. Okay. Five Dragon Toadstools. Okay. Max Potion. Okay. Gonna need... Gonna need flash bugs and combines for flash bugs. Buy enough Maldies to make a body pillow, guys. <laughs> <Nice. laughs> Leave some Maldies for the le the rest of us, okay? Can I just buy? If I've got four Mega Dash juice. That's probably enough. I would love to have gourmet fish, but I may not bring them. Technically don't need mite seeds. 
All right, let's see if uh, this guy's got stuff for our flash bomb combines. We're going to bring 15 flash bombs. Combines for 15 flash bombs. Okay. Or not. <laughs> if he doesn't have any. Who made the Maldi emote? Dwarven Man did in about two minutes when he was like tweaking out on Pepsi Cola one night. <laughs> he posted it to the chat. We don't even really have like the original anymore. We have just <laughs> the micro emote that you see. So I can make 12 bomb casings. That should be enough. Buy 50 Maldis, make a life-size stash, you send it to my house? She would be like, why is this here? <laughs> Speaking of which, I got, okay, I got a text message from her this morning. Huge spider under towel in bathroom. And I'm not going to show it to you guys because it's, I know it's scary. So you guys don't want to see spiders. But it is, it is a picture of what appears to be a spider under a towel in the bathroom. All right, hold on. I'm going to show it on camera. Don't look if you get if you're afraid of spiders. Okay? You can see like its little leg poking out. So I'm like, "All right." I text her and I say, "Did you hit it at all or just put a towel on it?" And then I go to the bathroom and there are these two towels on the ground and I pick them up and there's no spider. It's not there. She just dropped a towel on it and ran away. <laughs> so I don't know what the hell's going on, but that thing is probably, I don't want to say it's pissed. I don't know that necessarily things like that experience emotions in that way but I'm, <laughs> I'm a I'm at least a little bit nervous okay here's what we're gonna do we're gonna fight one more royal Ludroth because I would I would really like to get some demon drugs I don't yeah I don't really like I don't got any beef with spiders like whatever I mean they, they kill other bugs but when they're walking around scaring Jen that's a problem I don't think it was a brown recluse. Scratches in my ear? Jesus Christ. It would be interesting, although probably frustrating, if the game did have, like, a actual ecosystem and if you started to kill enough royal Ludroths that either they disappeared or a super powerful Ludroth showed up. I think people overstate how much spiders eat other bugs. I've had large amounts of both in your room. I mean, okay, so excellent point, Hugh Boy. Chances are, if you've got a lot of spiders in a place, they're able to get in somehow. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, probably better off finding out where the hell the bugs are coming from and then eliminating that source. I never noticed this, but you can actually change the angle with which your character does the spinning jump. Did anyone know that? Has anyone ever done that before? Like, consciously? When you were sleeping, you had a centipede eating your back a few weeks ago? Jesus Christ.
And like, it repositions you a little bit. Input a direction during the hops? No, so when you hit the circle button, if you, if you have an input buffer window, you can hold a direction and you will spin in that direction instead. That's crazy. Th uh, dual blade's actually the most advanced weapon. We may have all used it subconsciously to reorientate yourselves, but when you consciously think of it, I mean, it could be helpful. I mean, that could be significant. It's a tiny, tiny uh, directional difference. But it matters. Highest skill cap, like easiest to use, hardest to master. I don't know. I don't know that dual blades fit in there, but it's definitely way more complex than take a dash juice and demon dance constantly. Remember Monster Online, we can change the spin over and over. I was just focused on making dual blade lasers. Well, we got another dash juice. Which is good. One of my cats got a flash bug, too. So I need stones. Or ideally, this guy will just sell, like... Just, like, sell the stuff to me, dude. Just sell bomb, bomb materials, please. That's everything except for bomb material. <laughs> we're going to get one more dash juice and we're going to get demon drugs out of this. You know, what is it? Like seven raw? Four? It's going for a latch around redemption? Yeah. Well, it's really, it's more so that, like, Alatreon is so different in this game compared to 3 Ultimate that it feels like it's worth hunting him. And that when I was fighting him, there was a number of people that were like, wow, why is he doing that? I've never seen him do that before. I'm not going to, I remember when I said du Dual Blades is Demon Dance Spam, I was wrong. I can admit it. I made a mistake. I wonder if I should just send them in with crappy pickaxes, and then maybe I'll get stones that way. I mean, that's what I need. Does this give stone? It does. You thought this was 3U. Nope, 3U will be next. 3U is probably going to get started on Monday. Man likes Monster so much he extends his challenge runs. I mean, like we're already here. Three U is going to be on 3DS. 3D, 3U will likely be emulated 3DS. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess around with it on Sunday. I mean, if you have elemental dual blades, to some extent, spamming demon dance is okay damage. But I still feel like you're better off just doing an infinite and then finishing your combo with a demon dance. Cause like that's a lot of like, there's some damage downtime. while your demon dance cooldown is going off. And I feel like that's got to be at least a little significant. Take your three save from Simo and use it on Citra. Is that impossible? There's definitely a way to pull it off. I mean, we're going to be starting with a fresh 3DS save anyways. Or at least we'll be starting with a fresh save file. 
Uh, I might use my main save, though, because it's a possibility. Like, my main save profile. Like, I'm going to pull it off my... I'm going to pull it off my Wii U and bring it to my 3DS and take it from the 3DS and then put it on PC. And we're probably going to use that. Like, what I'm saying is it's it's possible that it's not even top damage is what I'm trying to say. Because at the end of your Demon Dance, you have this moment where you're going into recovery frames. Whereas if you're doing the normal triangle combo and then extending it with circle into an infinite, there's like never any downtime. It's something that I would have to test out to be really certain of. Would I rather have herbs or fish? I might rather fish. Sixfold in a demon makes sense because that's generally going to be a full opening on a monster anyways. On an extended down, though, it, it would make sense to do... Sixfold into an extended sixfold into a demon dance, but for a solo playthrough, I would assume I mean, you're not going to get that, anyways. It depends. Like in this game, you know, there are some monsters that are so wide and large with a wide enough hit zone, or where it just doesn't really matter, anyways. Like if you're going into like the tail on Ignactor, you know, when you do your forward thrust, you're going to end up just going into his tail anyway, so you can just keep doing that. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna bring the fish over the birds. Is there a guide somewhere to get 3DS saves to PC? Uh if you've got your 3DS homebrewed, there is a Monster Hunter save tool out there that is pretty good at exporting it. I'm pretty sure I've used that before. And then once you have that, I mean you just, I would assume you just Pull it off the 3DS and bring it to PC. I'm assuming the save format is the same for Citra. Pretty sure it is. Oh, hold on. Made one mistake. Checkpoint works fine, too. Uh, I don't know what... Uh, oh, is checkpoint just like a uh, an overall save tool, Teppelin? Yeah, I mean, if you're in Archdemon mode, XXXA is, is great. Okay. Capcom needs to release them on Switch already? It's, it's not, it's not, it's not going to happen. It's okay. Oh, XXXA? Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess the number, you know, I mean, obviously the... Dual Blades are a little bit like Hunting Horn in the sense that the more you can just keep attacking, the better it is. You don't have to worry too much about the specific hits. Like, I think even the circle hits are, they're probably like a little less damage, but it's probably not like... Too much less if you're going to be aiming for something that you need to hit anyways. Is KL worth it in GU for Hammer? Um, I would only really use it in multiplayer. And even then, it's like, how many more KOs is it going to get you? It's never a bad skill to have. It's just like, you know, maybe if something had like a really low KO tolerance. Sodom, thank you. It wouldn't just be like a monster. <laughs> that would be silly in my opinion. Maybe just Ryoza. Is this Mal Zeno? Yes. I think that's everything. I don't have, um... Woo. <laughs> 
it's a lot of... You just need to play with the expectation that he is always going to do a backward hopping fireball. And it'll never surprise you. <laughs> Case in point. No bets. You put a bet up. But I'm going to want to see, if I don't see you put uh, any doubter that doesn't put at least 100,000 points on the line, I'm timing you out for a day. And I will check. So if you're a doubter, you better put the points in. 100,000 points. 100,000 points or I don't want to see it. You don't have 100,000 points? You got to be a believer until you get 100,000. I don't even know if it's worth going for the head like that. Jesus Christ! That's an attack at the end? What the hell was that? You got 10 points on doubt? Oh. It's an unfortunate situation you're putting yourself in. I'm gonna check it after the bet's over. Very lucky there. Almost positive that would have gotten me. God, that wind. we're getting some decent combos in. I don't understand that pattern. Maybe there is nothing to understand. Damn it. High rank village Alatron has a leg topple. Isn't there a leg topple from breaking the leg? Cool, he shoots lightning through his body. That's neat. Okay. I guess nowhere is safe.
I'm just gonna keep run. Oh, there we go. Kinda have it figured out when he does it. Not really, but kind of. Can I save Miguel? No. Just out of stamina to dash. Feels so bad. You have no idea you're running this? Maybe you don't have a hundred thousand points. Am I still on Tack Up Micro? Yep. Attack Up Small, Marathon Runner, Speed Sharpener, and Speed Gathering. <laughs> Some final armor set here. I just didn't want to grind up anything else. Obviously, with even a micro amount of Talisman Gathering, you could have something much better. Commando Jab, thank you. going all right so far outside of that one time remember when he lodged his head into that wall and then took his head out and then absolutely anus me that was fun where is its ice mode i think it only has two modes technically it's got fire dragon and it's got like ice whatever This mode is the mode we want him to stay in the most because he actually takes ice damage. I don't think he takes any ice damage in the other mode. I don't think there's any way to change it though. I think it's completely RNG. Ice Thunder. Yeah, I guess it's technically more Ice Thunder, isn't it? I mean, I'm okay with this. I mean, if he just wants to keep putting his head down. <laughs> what? Excuse me? God damn it. I think we're all out of uh, flash bombs, right? Why 
What? So, there's a pretty good opportunity there to go for his head. But with dual blades, like, the positioning and timing for it is, is really, really hard. So, I, I'd love to go for it, but... Unless I've got, like, a mini Demon Dance. And even then, it's just... It hasn't felt worth it. Keep Miguel alive a tiny bit longer. Oh, what the hell? What was that lightning strike RNG? So, like, I guess it's technically not RNG, right? Technically, that was probably predetermined. I dodged one right into another one. God, this mode is so annoying compared to his normal mode. Is try Alatrian and Village low rank? I don't think there are any low rank uh, Alatrians in the series. I think they're all high rank or G rank or master rank, whatever you want to call it. That's a trip. I said I was pretty sure uh, a leg break is a trip. Pretty sure it doesn't work like that in 3U. That's kind of why we wanted to do this fight. Because Portable 3rd Alatran seems to do things slightly differently than 3U. Can't you fight Yama in low rank? Uh, there are a lot of monsters you can fight in low rank in Dose. Camellios, Lunastra. I don't think Yama. Kirin. But I mean, Kirin's generally down to party in low rank. I want to heal, but I don't know if I need to heal. Definitely need to heal now, though. Cool putting your head in lava. I'm going to be getting my uh, GameFAQ web redemption pretty soon if I end up breaking his, his horns with dual blades. I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, oh nope. It's not what I wanted to do. Like, I'm not about to triple. Uh, I mean, we haven't even carded once yet. We're like, what, 15 minutes into the quest? Around there? We're, we're certainly learning as we're going, because there's... You know, it's it's not like a new fight, obviously, like an Alatran's an Alatran, but there's, you know, there's, there's version differences. You'll run out of healing eventually. Um, possible, yeah. I don't really understand what the glowing horns mean. I'm gonna be completely honest with everyone. I'm assuming there's some sort of significance there. World of Latran is amazing. means it's about to go into ice mode? But I mean, I guess? What was that? What the hell? All right, this is really dangerous. I'm getting away. Because <laughs> we know that's a really strong attack there at the end. Anima. It's fine. His horn gets stuck? Yep. This is Anima's fight. Some may argue it's Anima's favorite fight. He's done it so much. Kind of miss Trial Atrion? Uh, I mean, technically, you could go back and fight him now, but good luck. Got so many things to eat. That's an awful one. That was like thunder all around him. That was awful.
Lightning shouldn't strike twice. What the hell? <laughs> Alright, so lightning can strike twice. Nah, I don't think... Nah, there's, there's no way it's actually random. Major concern are cool drinks. Although, I guess we have fish to heal the red damage. We've got 20 minutes. Technically 30 minutes. Okay, that's fine. There's my bed. Bed boy, it's broken. Oh, no, 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 no. Got one? So we got until eight minutes on the clock. Okay. Do monsters in Portable 3rd have exhaust? They do, but I do not believe Alatrion has an exhaust. of roars. What are you going to do? There's nothing over there. Supernova? That'd be cool if they gave him like a Teostra Supernova. Actually. I don't even know if I could hit his head over there. Ah, uh, maybe I could have. So much roaring. It's kind of messing me up. What is that flinch? What? <laughs> Excuse me? What? Oh, there is a bed. I guess if we were Omega cowards, it's a nice bet, too. We could, um... Well, this is really bad. Doubters throwing out their their hand rubs right now. I got stomped? I didn't think I was that close. So what hurts us the most, honestly, is the, um... The, the loss of our cool drinks. I mean, it's fine. I mean, not every monster needs to have their attacks line up one to one. But that was pretty messed up. Don't fail. Oh, look, I'm, I'm going to do my best. I mean, we've got four gourmet fish.
How is that even an attack? All right, doubters, you're very fortunate. Literally only two people. I'm sorry. Most doubters did put in. All right, hold on. Zeravius was on notice. Maybe 10 minutes on that one. You believe in me? Going to go all in on doubt? Well... We're about to go all in on exiting the game and then re-entering because I do not want to resort that backpack again. That's messed up, man. So messed up. I'm almost wondering if like a raw focused dual blades would be even better. Nah, we'll stick with ice. That hitbox was flawed. Well, the one where he headbutted at me at the end was definitely not flawed. The only time I trust Shepard and you lose. Welcome to Twitch. <laughs> Welcome to the uh the dynamic of believing versus doubting. Can we exit reset our points also? No. Oh, I did attack instead of defender? That was a mistake. Oh, well. I actually don't know if attack scales. Doubter is not a prediction. It's a spoiler. I'll give you one more. Either way, we'll probably do Shadow Tower after this. Only potions for healing? I'm sorry, you wasted your points. I hate to be the one to inform you. You have wasted your points. Actually, I don't mind. Is there any other way to get cool? Nah. Just don't die, though. If I played Morrowind nowadays, who would I play? I would go hard into trying to make a um, summoner build viable. Even though I know it's not good. 100,000. If I win and you have not bet 100,000 points, I'm snapping you for a day. If your prediction is accurate, then I will not punish you. But if your prediction is flawed and you doubt it and you do not bet 100,000 points, then you're getting snapped. I just think magic is really bad in the Oblivion and Morrowind games, unless you deliberately make something super broken. But I, you know, I like magic. I like magic in games. I only bet in increments of 30, 66. It's reasonable. Accurate. So much roaring. How much of a damage buff do you think um, high grade earplugs would be against Alatreon? <laughs> kind of a point blank fireball there, right? What the hell was that? Last quest? Not necessarily. We, we still might end up doing um, silver and gold and then crimson curl peko.
No, 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 no. Change form. Not turning around. I want to take this mega dash juice. But then I also kind of need to wait for him to give me an opening to take the mega dash juice. That wasn't really one. And now he's going to hit me. You ever played an Elder Scrolls game? Skyrim's pretty good and it's available on literally everything. Don't expect anything to be balanced ever. Do expect to end up being like, man, do they only have the budget for five voice actors? So that's definitely a thing. Oblivion's okay. Patrick Stewart has like 10 minutes of recording time in Oblivion. Far cry from Peter Dinklage having like actually a lot of voice lines in Destiny. I forget exactly what happened. Kazuki, hello.
Jesus Christ. Final action for gear? Well, unfortunately for us, silver and gold don't take very good um, dragon damage. It would allow us to add elemental though. Spriggan, thank you. You heard Peter Dinklage was pretty bad VA Destiny? Yeah, he was. It was actually wonderful meme material. I mean, if it wasn't so bad and probably so expensive, you would have thought they did it just to get people talking about the game. Like, I actually didn't mind it. I mean, I, I was one of the people, I thought it was funny. That wizard is from the moon. Oh, that wasn't that bad. Yeah, we lost a cool drink, but we were alive for nine minutes. Well, what's with the kek you? Yeah, it's gonna, yeah, sometimes we will die. My points are in danger. You knew what you signed up for. Washed up. I had right, my right equipment. This would be no problem at all. You'll see. Is the first bet still on? Nah, we tripled, so. How long does it normally take to kill this Alatreon? Solo? I, I don't. With dual blades? Oh, yeah, I think that was pretty amazing. That was pretty good. Yeah, I know. I know the elemental weaknesses of Alatran. If we had slime, slime would be the perfect choice. I just don't, I don't think he takes much para damage, or sorry, poison damage. Otherwise, poison would be potentially a way to go. I don't know how dragon damage is on him. It might be okay. It's a weird noise. Sounds like he's setting off like a sort of like home alarm or something like that. Where's the sleep bombing at? This is a dual blades playthrough. Sleep bombing would definitely be a thing. If I could 100% guarantee cooperation with my cats, I would actually probably be all right. That was screwed up. That was really screwed up. Yeah, I was trying to keep my max health up. Waiting for my max pot. 
to be efficient and uh, kind of screwed us over. No, Iceborne Elantrion does speak. He goes, eh. That is actually a thing. It did one hit me at full health. It knocked me over and then it shot a fireball at me. And then I died. Uh, again, could have been worse. We had a couple minutes out of that cool drink. Probably just take like a mega potion. like barely in fire mode that's really sad Using Fortify strats? Yo, is Fortify in this game? Fortify would be amazing. I think it might be. There's like an event quest for like the black leather pants. Did you miss Freedom Unite Fatalis? You missed all three Freedom Unite Fatalises. You didn't miss much. Maybe White Fatalis was the most interesting because we did him in one round, but the others were just terrible. Let me eat my fish. Ah, there's probably was time there. No! <laughs> that end screen, though, is amazing. <laughs> We're gonna, do, we're, gonna, we're gonna do one more. We're gonna do one more. We're gonna do one more. I right, say so Elder Dragon Blood. Maybe we're gonna make. Uh, maybe we're gonna get those pants though. Thanks for the extra thirty sixty six points. You're very welcome. We we did better the first time. You have 96 points. And you know what? Uh, just your dignity. Dude, I'm going to look it up. Hold on. MHP3. 
Game facts. Does it have like I could have sworn Oh you know, I'll just use the uh I'll just use the ass. Hold on. I could have sworn that was like a thing. Where is it? There. No slots, no talismans. So if we had I don't see fortify. Was it called something else in this game? God, I could have sworn it was in this game. It's actually not a bad idea to get it. It's not resilience, is it? Cardify? What's the skill called? Survivor? Thank you. I still don't see it, though. Might not be in Portable 3rd. I, I, I can almost say for certain it's in Try and 3U. Sounds like Heroics, but it's not. It's not Heroics. You require an ad? I ran an ad. Okay. Uh, let's make sure we go for... It's called Adversity. Hold on, let's see if it's here. No. The way... I'm, I'm looking at it in Athena's ass. Why didn't get an ad? I don't know. Is it time to farm an actual set yet? I don't think so. It's not like I have farm like the armor spheres. I don't want to do that. I'm just gonna make sure to be a little bit more proactive in just taking the max potion rather than trying to save it. Just farm silverless. I'm not gonna farm silverless. The funny thing is like, um. Tenderize or whatever doesn't even help us because like we're gonna be attacking his legs most of the time Like anything if anything we'd want like whatever mix of attack up large and crit eye we could get We'd want to max out our raw damage Bring more cool drink parts Do you think I'm feeling pressured because I'm worried about running out of cool drinks You're probably right or if I don't cart, then we should run out of cool drinks. It's not, a, it's not the best start ever. No! Is there low armor good in Portable 3rd like it is in 3U? It's not in Portable 3rd. There is no pink and Azure in this game. But ear, high grade earplugs would actually be a, a good for a number of reasons. Good for defense and good for offense.
I mean, I kind of agree. Like, Azure and Pink are generally not different enough from normal Rathalos and normal Rathian. Like, just put in silver and gold. Like, it's fine. Outside of whatever weird nostalgia goggles people have for Azure and Pink. Or just get rid of normal Rathalos and normal Rathian. Just give us Azure and Pink over. Still believe? That's wonderful. Thought he was gonna do the tail hit for re some reason. Oof! That comes out fast. That comes out really fast. Challenge run, or is Shep really geared up? We have attack up small as our primary offensive skill. Along with marathon runner. What do you think? Is Narga armor a thing here? Uh, normal Narga and green Narga armor are both things here. Texas, I've saved you. Do not fail me. He's got a bomb. You over there, buddy? I can maybe hit your tail. Speed sharpener is generally really good value for what it costs. Oops. Wrong spot. What is this tweaker Elhetrion?
shoot. Oh. Now right, we're gonna go for another max potion. Sometimes his tracking is just perfect. It's like Jade Baroff level. I actually feel like I got kind of lucky there. Brazilian sounds like that makes sense in the context of the ass. Okay, we got a couple hits. Ooh. My, my God, you gotta... You gotta leave the lava, okay? <laughs> we miss you, we love you, but you need to leave the lava. Uh, does anyone know the actual, like, effect of fortifying this game? You might die from this. Oh, so lucky. So lucky. It was a long fight. I mean, to be fair, we did triple twice. Like, an extra 20% raw is pretty, kind of a pretty big deal. Like, combine that with, like, attack up large, maybe? We've got natural recovery up. Oh, he was so close to ramming the wall. Oh, I feel so bad. Oh, I don't have cool drinks up. I'm like, why am I on fire? Not actually on fire. I should probably sharpen. I kind of want to have blue sharpness when I'm attacking his face.
Miguel's helping. Even the little bombs help. Everything helps. The only thing that feels like it hurts is it really does feel like he's spending more time in ice than fire. And I don't know what causes that. Oh, 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 oh. There's <laughs> so much damage. Oh, he's back to normal. Oh, back to fire dragon. After your triple again, slip to raw duels. I still feel like ice is worth it. I mean, how much more damage can I get from raw? I guess some. Maybe the Dragon Dual Blades would be okay. Those are okay raw equivalents. Is Advantage playing a 3 on Simu versus Citra? It looks and runs much better in Simu than Citra, I think. But then you've got the disadvantage of not really being able to play with other people. How goes the fight? Yeah, I mean, we're getting a little anus. Oops. Yeah, I mean, it's the same as World, right? Chaos Crimson. Seems worth it. Is, is there any difference between the low-ranked Baroth and the high-ranked Diablos? Is it the same jacket? Just do the Baroths, right? You can convert saves between the two versions. If you have a Wii U. It's such a long stagger, but it's so hard to take advantage of. Diablo's one is white and gives way more defense. Sounds like the one to go for, but then again, does it really matter? I'm assuming it also gives extra defense when you use Fortify, right? Is this? <laughs> oh, God damn it. That's Upsetting is not, though maybe it is the word.
You don't want to... That attack just does so much damage. I don't really want to eat it, if I can help it. Yes! I broke both horns! With only dual blades! No! I wait for him to go for Miguel. All right, I'm like a million miles away. It's not gonna hit me over here. I have GameFAQ's God tier status? I mean, that's definitely better than like crit draw greatsword builds, right? You can really say you mastered a weapon, a melee weapon, if you can break a Latrion's horns with it, right? to attack again because I do want to get him in blue sharpness. He's like, you thought I was just going to keep doing lightning, huh? You fool. For you in the Switch, you impulse it right right now. I mean, it would sell at least a couple million copies, right? I mean, is that just cope? It would sell at least two or three million. There's enough nostalgia goggles out there.
That's actually really funny. Or not, just don't fly, I guess. We don't want to be below, too far below on health because if he punches us and then shoots us with a fireball, we die. I also probably want a Mega Dash Juice. Uh, Miguel, sorry about the life powders, buddy. Not that dual blades are a bad weapon, but I feel like like a slime switch axe against a Latrion is pretty good. I mean, this is the plan that we'll use on him. I think it's the most damage. Isn't Sword and Shield chill for Latrion? It's probably pretty safe, yeah. I know I did a good run with him with Hammer and getting the turnaround super pound timing. I rolled into his legs as he was going backwards. Wouldn't Slime Longsword be more, more effective? I, mean, I guess they'd probably both be fine. The worst part about that... Ooh. We had just taken a cool drink. That's the worst part about that. Oh, life powders, right? Oh, I didn't bring my wyvern claws. Okay. All right. Well, fair enough. Hello, oiled muscle streamer. Uh, I mean, I'm going to have to pull out all the oil and all the muscles for this one. Going to have to start bringing um, iced meat soon. I feel a sense of satisfaction having broken the horns, at least. Get him, Miguel. Kill him. Finish him. Bring back Tropical Hunter? We don't even have potions anymore, man. We don't even have cool drinks and hot drinks anymore. So what is he weakest to when he's in his storm mode? If for some reason we don't win this run, maybe we'll just like take the element that's strongest to him there.
Maybe walled for a Latran for two hours? We spent some time bowling some Ludros. Fire? I mean, the funny thing is, like, our fire dual blades are really good. Arguably the best of all the elements. God knows, he seems like he's in storm mode longer than anything. Just use aerial style. That would be nice. Dunk! That's crazy! I was like mid flash bomb as he was going down. Please don't kill me here. I just want to stay as close to full life as possible. I, I don't want to get moved on. Perfect amount of red health recovered, but okay. Almost in real life dodge? Dude, you better believe it, man. He's not enraged right now. Tanzia chips for red health? I wish, man.
Almost got memed on there. We do have gourmet fish, which fully restore our red health. No! The lava plume! Okay, I guess we're not hitting that one. I'm starting to get a little butt clench because I know, like, we're getting close to my cool drinks running out. Like, I still have got plenty of healing. So hard. All right, there it goes. So pretty soon we're going to have to start eating gourmet fish. Just to help counteract. What a tap around three? No! Almost rolled into that. Jesus Christ. Implies I won't lose all my red health? I mean, it's... Possible. Hit me with the triple. Why do you keep just doing solos?
Get him with your bombs. Finish him. Please, Texas. actually. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Man, we had that head broken for like like half the match. Yeah, that's so cool. It's got like a transparency on it. This is my equipment, by the way. That is, by the way. It's like the most lazy put together armor set ever. Oh, <laughs> no. You get that in the rewards? That's just a reward? The Rosary of World Domination. That's amazing. They, they might have changed it after try or something. Because people are like, we're struggling to break the horns, which I mean, yeah. That at least puts me up to 30.65. At least. At least 30.65. Holy crap, guys. Holy crap. All right, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I mean, we gotta. I mean, we got. we gotta do it. Ah. <sighs> Thirty sixty five did it a long time ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is, is there not? Are there no Ella train duels in this game? That's really upsetting. Ups, very upsetting if true. It's not even that good. They really nerfed the raw in it, didn't they? Uh, Savage Joe is not in this game, though. No weapons that weren't in Try? Bizarre. I think there is in, um... In 3 Ultimate, though. Yeah, I mean, I would love to, you know... I mean, if I were playing the game casually, like, I would 100% go for... At least some bits of Electron. It's the only way to get Elemental Attack. I guess you would use the arms. Probably. Great kill, you always believed. Oh, let's pay out the bets. All right, let's see if I'm going to snap anyone. I can't snap all of the doubters, but any doubters who bet less than 100,000 points, who is it? Marshmallow, Kinezes, and King? Do a slog it? Why does it say you doubted at zero points? <laughs> Is that, how do you even have the op opportunity to bet zero points? Is it broken? All right. All right. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna do an hour.
Anyone else? King? Yeah, it's Shadow Tower Abyss time. Anyone else? Unlucky. 3066 doubt? Alright. You're gonna get the game, but I have to time you out. Can't bet any points in Denmark. We're only allowed to bet actual money. <laughs> That's fine. You could stay. I gotta use the bathroom. I'll be right back. And then we're gonna play the game. It's actually so intense. Like, unreal. Like, my... My tension and my blood pressure is, like, so high right now. Show all his celebration. I'm assuming that was entertaining. Did, I mean, all right, honestly, doubters and believers are so, aside, like, did you think it was actually going to be possible? I want to pull up his, um, I want to pull up his data. And I want to see, because, like, I think he was in storm mode way more than he was in fire mode. And the funny thing is, is because, like, um, flash bombs keep him on the ground. Like, you can actually hit him when he's in storm mode. Honestly, I think our dragon dual blades would have been the best there. Aren't right, the NA champ? I'd get it eventually. I mean, it's the NA champ. You love every hard challenge I do? Thank you, Bone Puss. You did good? Thank you, Turner. The last dunk was amazing. Do you adjust the height of your desk when you sit, or you never sit? I don't sit. I believe you. My idol can be anything. Thank you. Um, I mean, the fully upgraded insect duels are okay. So... Fully upgraded insect duels are 190 raw with like a ton of blue sharpness and 18 dragon, which is nice to stay in, in blue. But honestly, I felt like we were staying in blue pretty good with Legambi. Um, Wrath and Rancor, where are they? I guess they're called Los Depredadores. Those are 210 raw. So what is it? 20 more raw? Blue sharpness. It only has 12 dragon. They do have, like, positive affinity, which is, like, so weird when you think of, like, Devil Joe weapons. He doesn't sit because his stool's a juicer. It hurts my ass so badly. Means aside, I'm way better in Monster Hunter than I was three years ago. I mean, playing Monster Hunter full-time for three years, hopefully I get a little better. I mean, I agree with you, you know? The funny thing is the me of three years ago still got NA champ. That doesn't make any sense. Some people just didn't go to the tournament, man. Like, there's definitely some sleeper agents in the United States that could have attended and just swept everyone. Incoming 2022 NA champ? I don't know that they're ever going to do tournaments like that again. Maybe. Maybe in Japan, but I, I, don't, I don't know if they're going to want to travel. They might do something online. You didn't mean it like that? It just means my power level 
has gone up further. Unbelievable. Unreal, man. Did I win? Oh, you think I'm just going to casually give up? Just walk away? No. All right, we're going to play another game for a little bit, guys. Um, those of you who follow Iron Pineapple, um, he did a video last week or two weeks ago. Wasn't it financially non-viable for the lot of you that went to the 2018 championship? I mean, I could afford it, man. It was I, I don't spend money on anything, so to go out there was okay. But Sam literally spent all of his savings to go out there and then immediately took the prize that he won and sold it to reimburse himself. Chaos, I'm pretty sure it actually financially ravaged him for months. I mean, he's back to normal by now, I'm sure, but I'm pretty sure it, 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 it put him out for at least a little while. King and Amatsu were from California, so I don't think it was that expensive. Toad has a decent job, so I think he was fine. He was like, he was like in the same status, status as I was, you know, he's like fine financially. I mean, and not that there was even a payout. There was no cash prize for 2018. It was literally just for the experience and, you know, the title and the trophy and all that. And it was fun. I mean, it was definitely worth it. I mean, I'd, I'd do it again, I guess. Is Iron Pineapple my alt account? No. Um... I mean, and even still for the 2020 championship, it was, it wasn't even for money. It was for a trip to Japan and then they didn't get the trip to Japan. And I think they got paid like a thousand dollars, which it doesn't, doesn't feel like worth it <laughs> because to fly out to Boston, stay in Boston, eat in Boston for two or three days. I mean, it's, that's going to be more than a thousand dollars. It was fun to watch this practice on stream. Uh, we definitely had to improve really quickly. Can I win two to championships so we can call me the back-to-back -back two time champion? Maybe. Oh, it wasn't even a trip to Japan. It was a trip to E3. Was it? That's bad. Oh, talk while playing. Oh, turn up. It's so much harder. Yeah. I took the opportunity to hit the gacha poles to the arcades in Japan. I did go to the arcades. What do you mean? Is the sleeper super hunters wouldn't go because the costs didn't meet the reward? I mean, yeah. I mean, look. All jokes aside about U.S. currency and Canadian currency, most people cannot just afford to take two or three days off of work and spend, let's just call it $1,000 to go on a lark and play in some tournament that isn't going to pay them back, right? That's just not most people. Most people aren't going to be able to do that. You know, the majority of people in this country are making minimum wage. Not to be a huge downer or anything, but, you know, make minimum wage 40 hours a week. I mean, in a lot of states, that's you know, you're making ends meet. You're not going to just blow a thousand dollars to go out somewhere. Yeah. If it was E3, it's not worth it. That was not a good prize. Especially not people spend enough time to get good at monster. What does that mean? In the UK, you have 25 paydays off of holiday mandated by the government. Kyson, would it surprise you if I told you that the United States has literally zero required mandated holidays by the government? And as far as my research can tell, North Korea actually has more mandatory holidays for people to take than the United States of America. That's insane, man. You're going to go lurk now? I'm the best monster hunter in my house? You don't know Jen's not better than me. It's crazy, man. I mean, there are some nice things in the U.S., but the, the, the labor laws are not one of them. I did it for the exposure. I like performing, man. You know? You assume everyone that could sweep any determinants are too goblin to go to them? There's definitely some of them. Oh, no. I, yeah, I do not want to win the 2020 championship. I, I don't want to go to E3. They, they actually won out. If they were paid $1,000 not to attend E3, that's fine. But like E3 didn't even happen this year. It was all online, wasn't it? Time to be North Korea's champ. <laughs> Funny story. Uh, I once briefly held a position at a Blockbuster video store. And um, as part of our training, 
they brought up the fun fact that Kim Jong Un was actually like a massive fan of American movies and like wall to walls. Is the 2018 tournament on YouTube? Should be, yeah. Yeah, I mean, but honestly, like even one or two thousand dollars, like it should it should have been like I mean, it, Capcom could afford it. It should have been like five thousand dollars. When you when you consider like, you know, what the 2018 championship payout was, you know, like an all expenses paid to Japan. You know, they should have paid. It should have been five thousand each, and I doubt it was five thousand each. That was a blockbuster, <laughs> not a ball buster, a blockbuster. It was a video rental store. I was only there for a summer and I'm like, this job sucks. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm not coming in anymore. No joke. The manager there was named Chad. And probably some of the worst days I had was he had us come in at 5 a.m. and scan literally every video that existed inside of the store. Um just to do like an inventory or an audit, just to find out what videos had been stolen. And it was terrible. Fighting games make less money. The monster and the payouts are bigger. Yeah. Really shows your age since Blockbuster ceased operations in 2014. I was 17 years old when I worked there, obviously. You don't know. I mean, I say I'm 27 now, right? I mean, that's good enough. All right, let's get the game started. <laughs> 